Hi friends, today's topic is virtual work. From the name itself, we understood that the work is imaginary. In return, it is virtual work. So, for an imaginary work to happen, the displacement should be imaginary. Because, as per the equation, work is equal to force into displacement. If the displacement is imaginary, we can say that the work is also imaginary and hence we can say that a virtual work is done. So how it occurs? We can study it with the help of a figure. Here we can see an elastic body in round shape. This elastic body is supported at a point 2 and 3 using suitable supports. At a point 1, we can see an external force F1 is acting. Provided these two points 2 and 3 will not yield. That means that in points 2 and 3, there will not be any particle displacement inside the body due to the supporter reactions at 2 and 3. So, the only displacement that can occur will be at point 1 due to the force F1. Due to the force F1, a displacement delta 1 is occurred. We can now see that this delta 1 is in the direction of F1. So we can say this delta 1 as the work absorbing component because the displacement generated is in the direction of applied force hence the Displacement occurred is known as the work absorbing component. So this is the old story that we already know. So the work done is or strain energy stored is represented by the equation delta U is equal to half F1 delta 1. That is before the virtual work. Now we can come to the topic how the virtual work is done. This work absorbing component delta 1 after some time will yield. This delta 1 will get a small displacement like this with the help of the energy stored inside this body during the application of the first force F1. I will say one more time. This delta 1 that is the work absorbing component will yield some more distance like this as shown with the help of the potential energy stored inside the body during the first work okay and this displacement can be indicated by delta delta 1 as we know from the Hooke's law all the displacements are proportional to the forces that produce them so that if there is a new displacement delta delta 1, there will be a new force delta F1. Now we can go for the strain energy stored. Total strain energy stored in this case is equal to F1 into delta delta 1. See, initially it was half F1 delta 1. Now this delta 1 is changed to delta delta 1 and a half force is changed to full magnitude due to the effect of virtual displacement. So delta U is equal to F1 delta delta 1 plus energy stored due to the virtual work half delta F1 into delta delta 1. This we will get after the virtual work. Now taking delta delta 1 outside we will get this equation as delta f1 is very small we can neglect this second term when we apply the limit delta change to partial derivative when the limit tends to zero dou u by dou delta 1 is equal to f1 this is the virtual work so whenever there occurs a virtual displacement with the help of the potential energy stored inside the body during the first work then a virtual work will also happen because as because as per Hooke's law 
every displacements are proportional to the forces which produce them. Thank you.